y'all and welcome to today's video. I am super excited to get ready today. You can see I have no makeup on and I actually don't know what I'm going to use today. My friend Allie sent me a box full of makeup, drugstore makeup. I don't know what we have, but we are going to use it. We are going to get ready together. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. All right, y'all, before we get started, I want to say today is a collaboration with Allie Dawson. Allie is a friend of mine. She is so kind, so sweet. She makes awesome videos here on YouTube, so I will have her linked down below. But we were talking one day, we usually video chat back and forth every day. <laughs> and she was like, we should do like a mystery box swap, full face of a drugstore makeup. So I spent hours watching her collection videos, declutter videos, looking at her favorites and worst of, and I sent her a box of makeup. So she is gonna have a video on her channel of what I picked for her. So definitely go watch that. I'm super nervous. I hope I did a good job picking out products that she will like and that she's never tried before. I'm really nervous that I missed something and I sent her something that she's tried before, but it's all products that I really love from the drugstore. So I hope she loves it. But she also sent me a box of drugstore makeup. And I actually asked my husband to go through it. And I asked him to kind of sort. I was like, will you put like any cream or liquid face type products together so I can like have my reaction with y'all as we go. And then I asked him to put like lip separate. I asked him if there were any eyeshadow or any like powder face products to put that separately. So we're gonna see as we go. I have my skincare on, I'm super excited. Let's look at what we have for cream products though. Let me grab the little box that I gave them to put it in and we will see what we have. I'm also gonna go ahead and zoom y'all in a bit so that we can start applying the products. Okay, I have the cream face products. I have the Essence Poreless Partner Primer, mattifying and blurring with niacinamide. It says won't clog pores. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I have oily skin, just like Allie. I live in a humid place. Listen, it's been 85 degrees here Fahrenheit. It's been warm. It's been humid. My skin is still oiling. It's still doing the thing. So I'm looking forward to trying this mattifying and blurring with niacinamide. I am looking forward to trying this. She did send me the e.l.f. CC cream. I will not be using this. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm going to try to be a team player. But if you've been at my channel for a while, you know that I actually bought this and tried it. And my face was burning like not just like oh my skin's a little irritated it was almost like allergic reaction type thing my face was stinging it was painful it was irritated so I will um shop my stash for a drugstore foundation because me and Allie did say it was going to be drugstore products that we were going to send each other so I'm not going to use this, but she did pick out a perfect shade, I think. This is Tan 400 Warm Olive Undertones. She knows me. She knows me. She knows me. She got the undertone right. I have the Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I love. I actually have one of these, but I think Allie sent me a lighter shade, which is going to be perfect as we're like transitioning out of summer. I'm not going to be in the sun as much. So I'm excited to have this shade. This is the light beige. And my summer shade is, this one is tan sand. So I'm excited about that. And we have another product from e.l.f. Three e.l.f. cream products. She sent me the putty bronzer. She sent me the shade honey drip. 
I have not used this in a long time. I tried it and reviewed it when it first launched and I remember thinking it was pretty good. So I wanna go in my collection and see if I still have this. If so, I will see what shade I have and I'm looking forward to it. But let's go ahead and put on this primer and that way when I'm grabbing some other things, this will have time to set on my skin. I am guessing that if Allie likes this, I'm going to like this because like I said, we both have oily skin. So it, it has an applicator like this and the, the product is kind of like milky clear looking. So I'm going to put it on my hands like this and maybe just press because my skin is pretty glowy. Like I said, I do have my skincare on. So we're going to press this in to prep the skin. All right, y'all, I have the primer on. I'm really looking forward to using that more because I think it's really nice. I like the texture. It feels nice on my skin. I am going to quickly put on my Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Long Wear Foundation. It's a breathable, soft matte foundation. So I thought it would maybe give me the same type of finish as the e.l.f. CC Cream. So let me throw this on. And I'll be right back and we'll use some of these other products that Allie got me. Okay, my foundation is on. I feel like I'm looking a little flat. So let's put on light beige. I want to... Yeah, this is going to be perfect for giving me a little brightness under the eye. This is not a new-to-me formula. So... We're all good there. I know this is gonna look nice. I will say, if you have oily skin, but you're like me, you're not, you know, 12. <laughs> uh, no, if you have like fine lines under your eyes, things like that, don't let the hydrating claim scare you off because you're oily. It is the hydrating camo concealer, but it's not too creamy to where your oils are just gonna reject it or eat it, you know? It looks really nice. It stays nice under the eyes. It is on the thicker side. So if you have a lot of trouble with concealers that are maybe a little heavier, like settling weird, this probably isn't for you. I really like it. I do have some fine lines, but this concealer works for me and my oily skin. I'm just gonna let it set a couple of minutes before I blend it in. And we will look at the putty bronzer. So this is honey drip, honey drip, honey drip. I like that. <laughs> I like that name. I'm excited to try this because the only one I had in my collection was, what, sh what shade is this actually? Bronzed Bell. So while I let this e.l.f. concealer warm up on my hand, we can kind of compare these shades. Okay, so here's the one I have, Bronzed Bell, and here is Honey Drip. I think Honey Drip is going to work great. So I will blend in my concealer. And then we will use the bronzer because I, I remember thinking, oh, this is good. Or did I think it was like just okay? I can't remember. But the fact that I still had a shade in my drawer is a good sign. Okay, we need to bronze. We really do. So I'm going to just put my sponge in here, actually, and let's see how this does for us. Let's see. So I'm just going to kind of press it on right back here. All right, very lightly pigmented. Let me get some more. And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm remembering this formula. It's a little like, um, not glowy. Yeah, buildable putty cream to powder. And I remember that it was really nice, really nice um, like putty type texture, that it was buildable, that it was not too pigmented, that it wasn't 
hard to blend. I just remember it wasn't like my favorite cream bronzer formula either, but I'm going to just press it onto my cheeks. And then uh, I asked my husband if there was any type of like setting powder, finishing powder, anything like that to set that aside as well. And uh, we'll see, we'll see if Ali sent me a powder to set everything down with. Okay, we do have a setting powder. I have the ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder. So I am looking forward to trying this. I don't think I have tried this. Have I tried this? I don't think so. Have I? I don't think so. I know for sure I don't have it in my collection now. So I'm going to take this off, but like, listen, like I said, I trust Allie when it comes to complexion recommendations. Not that we always agree or not that we always have the same favorites, but generally speaking, we usually do like a lot of the same things because we both live in humid places. We both have oily skin and Allie and I are both oily, ah, full on oily, you know, so uh, I am looking forward to trying this. I'm going to press my sponge and I'm just going to use this. And like I said, it has been warm, warm, warm here. So I'm really going to press this in and then I'm going to buff it away in just a second. Okay. I'm going to press it first though, because did I say this is the translucent shade? I'm sure. Yeah. Translucent. So let me kind of set these areas of the face and I don't, this is the only like uh, setting powder or yeah, loose powder, anything, as long as my husband kind of sorted everything correctly for me. So, once I have this set, I'm going to kind of buff away any excess. Let me grab a brush, and we'll just kind of buff that in. Wow. That said translucent, but it did kind of brighten, didn't it? It is. It is a bit lighter under my eye, which can be really nice if you want if you want your under eye to be brightened a bit. I don't think that looks bad at all. I don't think that looks bad at all. So I did ask if there were any brow products. There are not. So I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to buff in a little bit of finishing powder and then I'll come back because I know for sure we have palettes or we have shadows of some kind and I'm excited. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I set the rest of my face. I filled in my brows. I don't feel like I'm looking my best. I feel like the under eye is looking a little odd. I don't know if that's the setting powder. It said translucent, but I do feel like it had a tint. And I don't know. I just feel like I'm not looking my best right here. I don't know if I should blame it on the powder. But, Allie, let me get this stuff for the eyes. Let's see what she sent me. Allie, I hope she sent me something good. Okay, look, I have LA Girl palettes. I've never tried these. I remember when these launched, the LA Girl 4 Play palettes. Okay, I'm very excited. And I don't think I saw a single review on these. I know there were reviews. I don't think I saw, like I didn't click on them and watch them. But I know people were talking about these. So we have some nice like fall tones here. We have, we have the which one is this called juicy okay so we have two mattes and two shimmers and we have what is this one called cowgirl was this part of the same collection juicy and cowgirl like what what okay this this we have two mattes and two shimmers there's no dark shades so 
we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something though there's no deep shades so we're gonna have a light bright look today I do have this Maybelline mascara I know people love Maybelline mascaras I cannot use them I have tried and failed many times over the years to love Maybelline mascaras and every single time I get a Maybelline mascara my eye breaks out I get bumps and it's the same with my mom. So it, listen, it's, I'm going to blame my mom. I'm blaming it on my mama, okay? I, there, there's something, I don't know if it's where Maybelline is making their mascaras. I don't know if it's an ingredient, but I'm not going to use this because it will put me out of wearing makeup for a couple of days. It's usually like right along the lash line. I'll get little bumps. So I'll definitely set that aside for a giveaway. I'm sure it is amazing. I don't doubt that Allie sent me a great mascara. I'm gonna see if I can cut, there's tape. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the tape. All right, y'all, I am very excited about using these palettes. I wanna start with the green one and I wanna start with this shade right here. This looks like a pretty like neutral brown shade with an olive undertone. I love those types of shades. So I've never used these palettes before. So I'm going to make sure I have no creases in my primer. And I'm just going to put this kind of all in my socket. I really, really, really love the olive undertone in this brown shadow. I think that is such a beautiful undertone. That's making me happy. I'm going to go ahead and blend this too. I started off by kind of packing it on because it is like on the lighter side of mid-tone for me. So now that I've got it packed on, I'm going to buff and blend. I feel like I'm having not the easiest time getting it to blend right out here let's see there we go okay oh i was really really excited to see these little quads because i don't have these and not only do i not have them but i don't know that i have any la girl eyeshadows do I? I don't think so. And these are really pretty fall colors. So everything that Allie sent me, I am going to link in the description box. Of course, I'm going to link Allie's like channel in the description box. And I'm going to be watching her video like right away because <laughs> I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous if she's going to love all the palettes that I sent her. Uh, Y'all, when I tell you I watched so many hours of her declutters because I'm like I have got to get her a good palette that she doesn't have and I really hope I chose one of the BH Say It palettes that I love and I hope she loves it I hope she loves it okay so I have that shadow on and I swatched out the shimmers it looks like they're pretty like lightly pigmented so I think I'm not sure like uh yeah I think let, let's go with I don't I don't know let's go with the olive shimmer this one right here out of the cowgirl palette I'm gonna pick this up on a fluffy brush and I'm going to spray my brush with setting spray after I pick up the shadow to see if we can get it really intense. Using a fluffy brush will be a little messy. So of course I'll wipe away any fallout, but it will help like intensify sparkle. And just with the swatch, I want to intensify it a little bit. So I am going to spray my brush and then we're just going to put this all over the lid. Um, I did take a little bit of that matte shadow and put it on the outer part of the lid. So I'm not going to take it all the way out here. I'm going to stop about right here. Okay, so I'm going to 
press this on since I sprayed my brush I'm gonna press first and then once I have all the shadow off my brush then I'm gonna blend this is pretty this is a very pretty very soft kind of olive neutral leaning shimmer and I think that looks nice I'm so ready to put on a powder bronzer. I'm, I'm looking so pale, which I know I uh, definitely needed to use a darker shade of foundation, but I'm going to fix it in the end. If you're looking at me and you're like, Casper, it's not Allie's fault. <laughs> Y'all saw I didn't use the foundation um, that she sent me. Uh, I used one and it's too light for me, but we're going to make it work. Trust the process. It's going to look great in the end. Okay. That's cute. Yeah. That's looking cute. We're looking cute. Fall vibes. I'm going to take a little more of that matte shadow and I'm just going to make sure I have a nice blend out here. No harsh lines, anything like that. And then I think for the lower lash line, we'll jump over to this quad and we'll use this pretty like burnt orange color. Okay, let's see how this matte shadow does. Ooh, okay. All right, we got some pigment. That's pretty. I think the green olivey tones up top with the warm on the lower lash line is going to be really pretty. And I think we are going to like this. I think we're going to like this look. All right. All right. I'm going to highlight the inner corner. And I think I'll use two shades from the um, what would you see quad. And we'll do this one. We'll do this kind of sparkly gold shade. Um, and we'll just keep the eye look simple. You know, we'll just keep it to the four shades since they're all light the mattes and the shimmers are all whoops i need i need to uh put my shadow down over there but they're all pretty light shades so i think we're just going to keep it to the four and i'm going to throw on mascara i'm not going to put on a false lash since there was not a false lash included, but I am going to put on uh, eyeliner in the lower waterline and I'll be back. All right, y'all. I put on some mascara, some liner in the waterline and I did look and Allie sent me a beautiful blush and highlight. So I went ahead and added my own powder bronzer. I'm still looking bright under the eye. Allie? You got me looking bright and bright. <laughs> Not bad. Just just a little brighter than I'm used to, but we're going to work it. We're going to work it. This is the shadow look. I am so excited for the cheek products she sent me. I have never tried this blush. This is Wild Rose Rose Powder Blush from Milani. I've never tried this formula. It looks very pretty and I have never tried this. This is the Makeup Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. I think the shade is Dare to Divulge. This looks beautiful. This really looks beautiful and I know Milani is like known for their blushes, right? So I'm going to maybe kind of feel the textures. I think that's going to be pretty. I, I think that's going to be beautiful. But let's do blush first. Let me get this sticker off and we will we'll blush up because isn't this a pretty shade? I got this sticker off and I think this shade looks so pretty. I might end up like bronzing up a little bit more because I feel like I'm still just looking a little pale. But I don't want to pick up too much because I don't know if this is going to be like insanely pigmented or, oh no, that's pretty. That's really pretty. And I like this shade too. 
Okay, that's a really pretty shade. And I think it's pretty with this eye look too. Mm hmm Oh, yay. I love the way this blush looks. I'm excited to keep using this. Okay, I would love to know y'all, like any of these products that Allie sent me, do you have these? Are they your favorites? Let me know and definitely, definitely go watch what I sent her. I had a lot of fun shopping for it. And I'm so glad this is finally coming together because uh, Allie and I have been talking about doing this for a long time. And you know, life doesn't always allow us to plan things at the same time. So I feel like we've been talking about doing this for a while and I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what she thinks of what I got her, you know? This is beautiful, like Allie. This is so pretty. I'm enjoying that a lot, but I'm very ready to highlight. Okay, let's highlight. I am really looking forward to trying this highlight. That's pretty. I really like the way it looked in the pan. It just looked reflective. I'm not seeing a lot of sparkle or anything. Like it's just, just that more like bright type of look without the sparkle. I'm gonna bring my highlight down low. I wanna emphasize my little chipmunk cheeks. Wow. So, you know, she tried to do me in. She tried to do me in with the e.l.f. CC and the Maybelline mascara. But then she gave me a blinding highlight, a beautiful blush. <laughs> All is forgotten. <laughs> All is forgotten. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm feeling myself all it takes is a little highlighter and I'm feeling myself let me look at what is left because I told my husband I was like you can put lip products in a box I was like and if there's any type of spray you can put that in a box so we will see and I was like if there's any extra things I was like if there's anything that you don't really know like if there's a glitter or a sparkle in a pot or I was like anything like that stickers I was like put them in the last uh, because those can always be added later so let me get that and see what we have <sighs> you thought I was excited about the highlighter okay listen listen Allie sent me a covergirl gloss I have had this in my mind to buy and I just haven't bought it. Like it's on my Ulta loves list. I think to myself, every time I see somebody use it here on YouTube, I'm like, next time I go to Walmart, I need to grab this next time. And every time I looked, they were like shopped out. They were shopped out. So anytime I actually remembered, they didn't have what I wanted. And I kept like, I, I just, I haven't gotten around to picking it up, basically. So, this is the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss, and I'm so excited. She got me the shade Havana A Good Time. I love that. I love Havana. It's one of my favorite places in the world. So, shade 500. Ugh, I'm happy. Okay. But, she also got me a ColourPop Lippy Pencil. I really like the ColourPop Lippy Pencils. This is in the shade Good and Plenty. And it looks like a beautiful mauve tone, which I love. So let's see the shade. Um, oh, I think this is going to be a good shade for me. I don't have this shade. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty. This is like a pinky mauve, which I think a mauve shade looks so good on olive skin. It really does. Like it contrasts so well. And she also sent me a setting spray. So this is the Revlon Color Stay Lock Setting Mist. I have never tried this. Let's see the sprayer. Okay, let me go ahead and spray my face actually. That's a really fun mist. I try not to talk and like move my face while I'm letting my setting spray dry, 
But y'all can hear me, right? Where's my fan? I keep my fan close. Can I see my fan? Here it is. Let me, let me fan off till it dries. Ooh. Doesn't it look like the makeup's kind of like setting on my skin nicer? Oh, okay, Revlon. This color Stay Lock Setting Mist. Shake well, close eyes. All right, locks your makeup for 24 hours. Lightweight, non-sticky formula, dries quickly. Um, blurs, pores, wear over makeup for increased wear. Okay, hey, more is more, right? More is more. Lock this makeup into place. Lock it down. Y'all, that setting spray looks nice. Let's do the lip, let's do the lip. I feel like we're looking good, great. I got setting spray all over my mirror. Okay, that's all right, I can clean it later. I can see enough, I can see enough. That's pretty, I'm surprised. Why don't I have this shade? This is a shade I would buy, so why haven't I bought it? What's wrong with me? Why haven't I bought this yet? Why haven't I bought this highlighter yet? Why haven't I bought this setting spray yet? What is wrong with me? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of things, probably. Honestly, a lot of things. Okay, so I'm going to fill in the lips with the lip liner as well. Kind of create that base for the lip gloss. Honestly, I'm the most excited for this gloss because I'm like... Like, I have had this on my mind to buy this, and I haven't yet. So, do you have a sticker, too? Of course, everything has a sticker, and I can't get it. Okay, let's see if this is the gloss of my dreams. What does this smell like? Yummy? Candy? Mango? Pineapple? Guava? What is this, peach? <laughs> At this point, I'm just naming fruits, okay? It smells amazing. I wonder if I have some Skittles downstairs in the pantry. Cause, uh, this is beautiful. Mm, I like this. This is a yummy gloss. Oh, Allie, Allie, Allie. Alley. You should have forced me to buy this a long time ago. You should have forced me to buy this a long time ago. Okay, now that my mascara is like completely dry, I'm gonna curl my lashes real, real quick. All right, y'all, here's my finished look. I am definitely looking a little pale. That's totally my fault for not deepening up my foundation. I'm feeling beautiful though. I really like this look. I was super excited to do this video because like a mystery box of makeup, not knowing what I was gonna get, not, you know, like just, it was really fun. And it was fun to shop for Allie too and think about like what she didn't have, what I wanted her to try. And I can't wait to watch her video. Like I cannot wait to watch her video. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I really like my look. I feel like the star of the show for me, the highlighter, the lip gloss. A close second would be the blush and the setting spray, honestly. I like this look. I like this look. I think I'm gonna wear this lip combo again tomorrow because I'm feeling it. I hope whatever you are doing, you're feeling yourself today. Please go watch Allie's video. I'm telling y'all, genuinely kind person. The type of person who texts you and says, hey, I haven't heard from you today. Are you okay? I just wanna check in on you. If you're busy, that's fine. I wanna make sure you're okay. Like a caring person and I'm so happy <laughs> to be friends with her. My, you know, I've got to meet her husband. She knows my husband, my kid, like, she's an awesome person. Allie, I love you. Thank you for collabing with me again. I am really 
looking forward to wearing this look. I'm looking forward to using some of these products again. I hope you will subscribe. I have lots of videos coming. So, like, I have videos on deck ready to be posted. I have videos filmed, ready to be edited. I have a lot coming. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Allie, for collabing with me. And I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye.